welcome guys so in this lesson i'm going to assist you on how you should treat rent income when you are dealing with rent income under income statement so remember when we are talking about rent income it come in different way so you should be able to calculate each and every trick that will come with rent income so rent income is not a problem as long as you follow up everything until we're done with this video all right so before we start remember um, when you are we are preparing income statement don't forget to apply the matching principle which says that income and expense must be recorded in their year in other words they are saying the amount that you have to record on income statement it must be for 12 months so if you have you have been given a scenario where they said for example where they said the rent for two months has not yet paid simple means that you have to add the rent for two months in order for rent to be 12 months simple as that so if they exceeded and they paid for 13 months subtract one month because we have to left with what with only 12 months that's where we have to apply the principle of matching concept simple as that all right let's start with our first example so example number one abc ltd financial year ended on 28 february 2022 then on trial balance we have been given a rent income amount of 500000 then on additional information they said the rent income for two months has not yet received in other words the rent has been paid for 10 months but for other two months is not yet received what do we do simple we have to add in order for rent to become a 12 months all right so now we have to identify how much rent per month we have 500,000 which was paid for 10 months which means we divide by 10 then we will find that the rent for every month it was 50,000 500,000 divided by 10 is 50,000 so when we go to income statement it's very simple we just say 500,000 plus 50,000 plus another 50,000 remember it's for two months then our final answer on income statement under rent income we are going to record 600,000 simple as that all right let's go to example number two example number two we've been given abc ltd financial year ended 28 february 2022 then the rent income is 140 then additional information they say the rent income for March and April has been received remember our financial year is ending February but we have received for March and April in other words the rent has been paid for 14 months is this comply with machine concept no because they exceeded the 12 months of machine concept what do we do we have to subtract the other two months all right so now we have to identify how much was the rent per month we have to say 140 divided by 14 because the rent was paid for 14 months all right then we found that the rent per month is 10,000 so how much are we going to subtract when we go to income statement we simply have to say 140,000 minus remember the rent per month is 10,000 
and we have to subtract for two months simply means that we are going to subtract a 20 thousand then we will left with 120 thousand simple as that now let's proceed to example number three with different case okay abc ltd financial year ended 28 february 2022 then on a trial balance they give us the rent income of 132 then additional information they said the rent income for march 2022 has been received note that from february 2022 rent has increased by 1000 so this is the different case now let's analyze this transaction Firstly, let's check how many months has been paid. It's 13 months. Why? Because they were supposed to pay until 28 February for our year end, but they also paid for March, which means that it's 13 months. Then the another issue is that note that from February 2022, the rent has been increased by 1000. So what do we do? In this case like this all right the first step we have to take 132 that we have then we subtract the increment so that we can get the amount before increment all right how many months that has been increased is February and March simply means that the increase it will be 2000 because it's two months all right, we said minus 2,000, then we left with 180. Then, after that, we have to divide by months that have been paid, which is 13. Then, we will get 10,000. Then, this 10,000 is an amount of rent for one month, before increase remember we have to subtract one month because they paid for 13 months okay so how much are we going to subtract we found that the rent before increase is 10,000 and the rent for March that we are subtracting has increased by 1,000 simply means that we have to say 10,000 plus 1000 which means that the rent for March it was 11,000 including the increase increasement then which means that we are going to subtract 11,000 then we are going to say 132 minus 11,000 then our final answer will be Our final answer will be 121,000. Simple as that. In case where we subtract is when they paid in advance. In case where we add is when they didn't pay the other months of our current year. Simple as that. Let's proceed to the next one. All right. Example number four, we've been given the trial balance. Our year is still ending 28 February 2022. Then on our trial balance, the rent income is 143,000. Then additional information, rent income for March and April 2022 has been received. Note that rent has increased by 10% from February 2022 let's take the first issue how many months that have been paid it's 14 months why they paid March and April instead of paying until February simple means that they paid for 
14 months 12 plus 2 is 14 months all right which means even in this case we have to do what to subtract two months so how much are we going to subtract that's the question note that the rent has increased by 10 percent from february 2022 all right so the rent has increased by 10 percent now from february march and april in other words the rent increase it was only three months the rent before increase it is 11 months because in total it must be 14 so how do we calculate this one let's go to our calculator let's go to our calculator very simple guys very very simple you don't have to worry about the rent anymore okay okay so what you have to do you have to firstly punch months before increase which is 11 plus months after increase please don't mix up do it as it is it's a procedure months after increase is three months all right after that okay let me do it in this way three months then the rent increase was 10 percent simple means that 10 percent plus 100 it will be 110 110 is coming from 10 percent then we divide by 100 then this amount that you are going to get is the one that you are going to divide the amount that you have on your trial balance it will give it will give you the amount before increment all right our answer is 14 comma 3 all right let's go back to let's go back to our trial balance so on our trial balance we've been given 143,000 okay 143,000 in this side we have 14 comma 3 okay which means that we are going to say 143,000 divided by 14 comma 3 this 10,000 that we get as an answer is before increase. This is amount before increase. Okay? Which means that if we are looking for amount of money after increase, we are going to say 10,000 multiplied by 110 over 100 or you simply have to punch 10 percent then you add back the amount it will give you amount after increase so our amount after increase is 11,000 all right let's go back 11,000 okay okay so now we got we found that amount that has been increased is 1000 per month then the total amount for rent is 11000 after increase okay so what are we going to do when we are preparing income statement simple we are going to say 143,000 remember in this case we have to do it to subtract because rent has been paid for March and April so 
the amount of march and prayer was affected by increase both of them which means that we are going to say 11000 times 2 which simply means that is 11000 for march and 11000 for april which is going to give us 22 thousand so after that we are going to say 143000 minus 22000 then our final answer will be 121000 this is a simple way on how you should treat the rent income if you have any question please make sure that you comment below i will assist you accordingly so if you are an accounting student please make sure that you subscribe on this channel it will help you more to succeed in your accounting journey thank you